Our next speaker, I'm very happy to introduce Roberto Cerdeirina from JVVA Structural in Spain. Roberto is a director of structural engineering uh, with JVVA. So um, to start with, thank you very much, Thomas and all, all, the, all the speakers to hear. It's a really great pleasure. Uh, I have organized uh, my presentation in as per the following um, um, steps. So just very quickly, who is uh, GVA? Uh, a couple, well, maybe three case studies, but very different to each other, uh, but I guess uh, interesting. Uh, we wanted to make just a couple of possible uh, suggest, uh, suggestions for possible uh, development for the preprocessor and our lessons learned. So uh, GBVA is an engineering consultancy corporation, basically consisting of two companies, GBVA Fire and Risk and GBVA uh, Structural Consultants. The board of directors are Jim Johnson, Gabriel Vigna, I'm not going to spend time with this, and, the, uh, and this is myself. The different sectors where we operate, one of the companies of fire engineering in all these uh, well-known uh, for all of you uh, sectors and in uh, structural engineering, we uh, our our, uh, we are trying to differentiate from other structural engineering uh, classical consultants um, uh, developing a structural fire uh, analysis for uh, a different typology of, of projects on, on a structural system. As you can see here, this is a different palette of uh, existing buildings at the top left corner where we had to conduct a, a, retrof a retrofitting. Uh, uh, Jimmy Johnson, Roberto Ferreira. Uh, the first company, uh, GBVA Fire Engineering, uh, with the different uh, fields or expertise sectors or, or capabilities where they operate. Uh, and as I said, in GBVA Structural Consistency, uh, we want to, to differentiate from other classical consultants with the advanced, well, advanced with the structural uh, fire engineering analysis. I, 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 from time I like the, the word advanced, but other time I don't like it because, uh, uh, of course, when you use a software such as Sapphire, it is a, an advanced analysis, but uh, the majority of the times you need to, to apply principles of structural engineering, okay? So, and as I, got, I, I was saying, a, a different, a, a palette of different projects in different sectors, uh, uh, seismic retrofitting and, and analysis of the performance of this retrofitting and strengthening of the structural system on the top uh, left uh, corner of, of a building in Venezuela, Caracas, lo uh, logistics sector where we have been working in, um, in peak tower structural systems. I will present a couple of examples. Uh, a new arena is a new project in Italy, industrial buildings from different uh, sectors. And, and so on. I'm not going to. So the first case study I wanted to, to share with all of you is a joint venture project with uh, Imtech. It's a a, a lock. It's a, um, an Italy-based uh, fire engineering consultant. And for this project, um, uh, we um, we we had to develop uh, an structural analysis assessment of uh, different system buildings. And um, and later on, to in order to adapt them to the to the Italian to the Italian code, we had to analyze their performance in the in the accidental situation of of fire. So, uh, as I said, the different buildings, the, 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 the image in the in the middle is 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 uh, a physical three D model that it is in in the plan. Uh, we have uh, I'm going from the I'm going to speak from the from the top ref, uh, top left corner to to the bottom. Uh, this is Amazon reinforced concrete building. It's an arch cell stabilized by uh, horizontal cables. In different in one building, the, these cables were protected. In other, were not protected. On the top uh, right corner is a classical um, pre-stressed uh, um, rafter with pre-stressed. Um, a joist uh, with big spans. We are talking about 50 meters spans. Uh, and the example I'm going to talk about in this in this presentation is on the bottom uh, um, left corner. Is um, 
this building was was erected in the in the fifties, uh, and and this is the building I'm going to 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 present. So as I said, uh, Imtec was in charge of conducting the the fire analysis, and we had to to analyze the structural system in, in fire conditions. Um, one of the scenarios, the most critical, was to uh, analyze uh, the horizontal displacement of this structural system against an existing uh, offices building. So the idea was to, uh, to, to get uh, 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 the, and to analyze the, how if the horizontal drift of this structural system may or not affect the, the offices building. For that reason, we, uh, uh, we from the very beginning of, of this project, we closely worked with the fire, fire brigades in, in Bologna, the client, the fire consultants, and ourselves. And uh, we choose the, the fire location, uh, the intensity of the fire load. This is a... Uh, this 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 is a fire natural fire curve of 20 megawatts at uh, less than 40 minutes at the, at the peak uh, with a cooling um, phase. So the idea was to 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 study uh, how this structural system may collapse. So as this building was um, was erected very long time ago, the the client. Uh, had already lost all the information of this product, apart from an old drawings where it can be seen that this uh, structural system was designed by a, a, a graphic uh, methodology. So uh, we had to uh, reanalyze from this uh, graphic method and to try to implement, to, 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 to conduct or to, or, or to build a structural model from, from scratch because we, because we didn't know the, the properties of, of the reinforced concrete, uh, I'm going to explain the structural system, okay? We had to, to conduct uh, tests in situ in order to measure the strengths of the, of the concrete. So the, the structural system we analyze is a long span truss, almost 22 meters, which is uh, supported, or, as you can see, in reinforced concrete columns. That's the, the reason why we, we had to conduct the the site test, uh, as you can see and and and, and well and, and and quickly imagine uh, the um, we, as we have uh, uh, the, the 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 truss is the depth is quite uh, onerous. Uh, sorry, is almost two point five meters. Uh, the the performance of these uh, of these tr steel trusses uh, were quite very good. Sorry, I didn't see it. But the the trust we we are we we analyze is the first one through the grid line one A B C. So uh, as I said, the all the structural elements have a high section factor. So the fast the the heating was very 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 quickly, and as you can imagine and foresee, the problem with this uh, with this structural system is that the, the bottom chord of this truss was not restrained against any uh, horizontal uh, movement or the buckling length of this truss. So we, we uh, with the first analysis, we come up that we uh, got on just an, an outwards collapse with uh, an, a non-admissible displacement. So we, we built up a, a matrix in order to analyze different um, possibilities of implementing structural elements to bring back the huge horizontal displacements in combination with protection of uh, different key structural elements. So at the end of the day, uh, in conjunction with another uh, uh, fire scenario where we had to demonstrate the inwards collapse uh, for uh, uh, of the long span trusses, um, we come up with a, a solution of protecting uh, the first uh, truss, all the structural elements, uh, which uh, it, which is adjacent to the office building, and the implementation of a, a horizontal cable fully protected that the, the, the client accepted to implement uh, in order to uh, to try to 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 have uh, a less uh, horizontal drift of this structural system. So 
here on the top uh, left corner, you can see uh, an image from the um, pro, uh, from the from the vendor of, of the of the cable protected uh, during the during the test uh, and uh, the the position of this cable at mid span of the of the truss and how the horizontal displacements were uh, were hugely uh, reduced. So for this project, again, we had a, a very a challenging project. I'm not going to develop this project uh, where we have uh, bowls made of uh, classical uh, reinforced concrete uh, slabs in, in the Mediterranean area with horizontal cables. But uh, between two reinforced concrete bowls, uh, bowls we had um, simple supported uh, steel trusses with very, very, very thin structural elements. Again, we had to conduct a site survey conduct, uh, campaign to test the structural elements and to, uh, to take uh, them into consideration in the, in the analysis. So uh, I want to move on to a different uh, typology of structural system, which are the peak towers. Um, the peak towers racking systems um, are very, very, I don't know how to explain this, is, they are very challenging uh, structural systems. Why? Because of different reasons. To start with, the majority of the structural elements are cold form sections. We have in, in the struts, uh, they are perforated uh, with holes. Uh, so, and, and, and the of course, they, this structural system have a lot of redundancy with a lot of bracings, but they are very, very uh, small uh, structural elements. So um, our approach to these uh, to these structural systems is to, uh, in the majority of the cases, to to conduct a couple of uh, fire scenarios, one on in one of the cells and the other one in in the middle of of a second secondary corridor. Now, in our practice, we are implementing a third uh, fire scenario where uh, we put uh, the same uh, scenarios for the secondary corridor to the main corridors in order to, uh, to have an overall picture of, uh, of the possibilities of, 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 of the fire. Um, all, up to now, all these structural systems are sprinkler controlled. Uh, depending on the vendor of the peak tower, we are uh, we are um, we have different possibilities of the connections within the structural elements. There are vendors that use uh, semi-rigid connections, and that's why we uh, we do utilize uh, this paper by Thomas Garnier and Jamar Franzen uh, about the releases, uh, the relaxations uh, at the nodes. For taking into consideration the behavior of the struts, uh, we, we we conduct we, we took into consideration a paper from the Polytechnic uh, University of Catalonia, and of course the the the, the material uh, associated to the behavior of these structural systems when they are called from, which is the steel cell already implemented in 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 Safir. Um, okay. So, uh, as I said, uh, the, fi the, the fire scenario, uh, we, uh, here is, depending on each client, I cannot give too much information because I, we have NDAs with these projects, um, but we, for establishing the, the fire curve, we took into consideration a fire test uh, that were conducted at Lund University. Uh, we are talking about of a fire because of the products that are stored on these typical uh, uh, racking systems. Uh, the heat release rate is, of, is about uh, three uh, megawatts, not, not, not more. So uh, we have different typology of uh, structural systems. And I have to say what well, this one is is more or less similar to the classical one with the difference that the stability in the transversal way, the, 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 weak, the weakest uh, direction of this structural system is conducted by very thin plates, um, which where the, 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 the vendor 
substitute is substitutes them for uh, structural elements working in in intention, which I, I, I'm not pretty sure if it is the the, the most adequate way. Uh, nevertheless, um, our approach is to to try to reproduce the performance of every structural system at ambient conditions in order to fully understand how they perform in fire. So for this particular structural system, we started with, uh, with a 3D model. Uh, I have to say that the vendor designed this structural system uh, in 2D, but we were ambitious and we tried to, to, to model it on, on, a, on a 3D basis, but we didn't get any, any convergence. Not at all. It, it, it was impossible. We spent a couple of time uh, of weeks going backwards, onwards, uh, testing different things. No, 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 no good results. So we decided to 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 analyze in, in this structural system in 2D as it was analyzed at ambient temperatures. And of course, the results were that uh, a lot of uh, critical, uh, well, a lot in in in, in the in the area of influence, uh, certain structural elements fail, others remain with um, with very long, very big and, and totally inadmissible uh, rotations and, and that originates the creation of, of, of three hinges because they, they, they are uh, simply supported. And um, we had um, a very unpleasant experience with the client uh, saying that this structural system uh, Geo well, it, it didn't put into danger the evacuation of, of, of this structural system, but it was very close to the limit. So the client knows that they have a, a real problem with this structural system. And now there is another typology of uh, uh, peak towers where, um, where we don't have the plates and uh, this vendor is a little bit clever because they implement into the structural system in certain key structural elements uh, such as certain columns, uh, hot wall uh, structural elements. With this situation, the, the performance in, uh, in, in fire situation in order to achieve uh, the, the, the evacuation goal uh, is, is guaranteed, but again, with local failures. But because of the redundancy uh, of this structural system, the, the failure of, 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 of is, is, is localized and, and it, it doesn't affect to, 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 the over, to the overall structural system. So the, the, it is not initiated any a progressive collapse. And I would like to... to we, um, we have been using Jimmy's, Jim, GMSH as preprocessor. Um, uh, for almost, I would say, more than a year. And um, we have come up with different uh, issues that, I mean, it's not uh, that the, the, the software doesn't, doesn't work properly, but we, we see it as possible improvements uh, because they are time uh, consuming. Uh, uh, so beyond all these three, I would like to, to highlight if it could be possible uh, to, to improve the instruction transform translate, because to date we can only uh, translate geometry, but for complex structural systems where it cannot, uh, as for the peak towers, the, the, stru the, the structural model cannot be reduced to a, a, a certain area, but because you need to take into consideration redistribution of internal uh, stresses, uh, it, it could be very good to, 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 to modify the algorithm uh, in order to copy uh, some uh, properties uh, in, the, in the physical groups. Uh, the, the second point, and, and that's, that's, that's the last one, we think uh, that was a, a very recent um, uh, issue we detected is that when when you define one uh, uh, one beam element with two nodes and you try to to relax both of them, uh, then um, the 
the file the file in that is not able to read that in the second node uh, there is a, a a relaxation so you need to to introduce uh, with the mess defined transfinite uh, at least an additional node in order to 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 have this uh, to, uh, this relaxation and, and when we implement this uh, then uh, the the file name reads properly uh, what it is uh, happening. Um, so finally, conclusions. And again, I, I do apologize. So the e existing uh, buildings, um, especially when they, they were designed uh, five, 50 years ago, um, are very, are very uh, sensible, sensitive when, uh, when they are uh, subjected to a, a fire scenario. Uh, as I said, uh, the norma normally these structural systems uh, have uh, structural elements with uh, high section factors, and uh, there are certain uh, displacement analysis that were not taken into consideration, and they they these buildings turn out to be more prone to 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 have uh, issues that were not detected when they were designed at ambient temperature. Um, so, of course, as I said, we we try to understand the the behavior of the structural system at cold conditions in order to to truly understand how it 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 it, it behaves. The the collaborative and iterative uh, design workflow with, with, with the fire consultant uh, or with the fire colleagues and, and with the client and the local authorities is key to, to achieve a good uh, performance-based uh, uh, analysis. Um, uh, of course, we are not, we, we, the structural engineers, we do not make miracles. Uh, so we have a responsibility with our clients. I'm referring to the performance of structural systems where we have cold form uh, elements and they are part of the main structural system. Um, and the, the peak towers, I think there is uh, a lot to do with uh, the performance of, of the analysis of the, of the peak towers. Uh, because uh, I don't know in, 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 in your countries, but in Spain, there is a lot of pressure from, uh, from, from the clients in, in the logistics sector and, and the regulation is, is getting uh, more and more conservative and it's very difficult to, to make them uh, work. And GBBA is fully available to, to share uh, our experiences with uh, GMSH uh, um, use. So that's all from my side. Again, sorry for the inconvenience. Thank inconsistency. you. Thank you, Roberta. Thanks a lot for this overview of uh, different types of buildings from a hundred years old building and the challenges that go with that to very complex hacks systems. Uh, we have a, a few questions. I think we will just uh, just take one and then I'll ask you if you can uh, go in the chat and, and answer the others. But there's a question from Chiara about the fact that you are modeling uh, so class four types of sections called form steel sections. And so um, what about local instability, right? So you briefly mentioned the, the steel SL. Yeah. You want yeah. to say just a little bit more about that? Yes, I, I, I didn't, I didn't show it in purpose, but uh, we, uh, the structural systems, uh, and this is another, it's very interesting this question because we, we have um, analyzed um, uh, explicit uh, behavior of these cold form sections, and. And you cannot capture on, on a 3D model uh, this uh, local uh, buckling uh, and, 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 and not only the buckling, the, 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 the warping, uh, the, the warping and, and the horizontal uh, uh, displacement with the torsional effect. So that's why we, uh, we think uh, there is uh, a lot uh, to do with uh, with these uh, cold form sections because 
uh, it is very it's, it's very difficult to to explain a, a, to a client that uh, because we 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 had experience to show the performance the, the the behavior of this call from sexes from an explicit uh, model in order to convince them that that was what is happening. So the, it is very risky to to utilize uh, implicit three D models uh, in a, on a performance based design to 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 say that uh, these structural systems performs well, especially if you see in a cross section thermal analysis the in non uniform internal distribution of temperatures and how the critical temperature of, of about 325, 350 is rich on a very short time, and when you couple it with the with the explicit simple supported beam, uh, is is totally. I mean, I think there is a lot of research to do, uh, and in the industry needs to 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 jointly close with with academia uh, because it's. I, I think it's it's not totally resolved. Thank you. Yeah. Um, no, indeed, code from steel fire is uh, is is a big topic, and there is uh, there is research ongoing on on that. Um, no. um, in the so associated with that, there was a question from Van Dang about what kind of steel material. So for this, it's it's called steel SL, and you can have a look in the in the manual. Um, also, Jean Marc reacted and mentioned that. So thank you for the. Offer to help with GM Sapphire. GM Sapphire, our new preprocessor, is open source. Uh, so you know any any help is welcome, and you can, uh, as users, be, become also developers of this preprocessor to facilitate development of the of the models and hopefully share with all Sapphire users. But thank you again, Roberto.